What I'd like to do now is invite Aj Ahmed up onto the, uh, onto the stage and just say a few words about him. Okay. Now, Aj made his debut for the England blind football team in 1999 and has gone on to win over 100 caps. He's captain Great Britain at the 2008 Paralympics Games and in 2007, Aj won the Outstanding Achievement Award, British and Asian Sports Awards, to add to the many other awards he's won throughout his career. Aj Ahmed. Uh, just before I start, I'd just like to say, I did try to get a translator for my Scouse accent, but uh, I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, yeah, um, I play for the England blind team and uh, Great Britain as well. Uh, I played for 11 years. Uh, captain of the team to Beijing, um, I was a captain for about three, four years. Unfortunately, not anymore, but I haven't been up to the antics that John Terry has. But I've yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just been, been injured for quite uh, a long while, so uh, that's why I like I'll just give you a bit of background to how I uh, got involved with football and how I got onto the England team. I'm um, obviously born and bred in Liverpool. Um, I think football is, you know, it's a way of life in Liverpool. It's, you know, it's like a religion. And uh, coming from a council estate, I think all you do in Liverpool is do two things: you play football or rob cars. And I, I went very good at the second one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so football it was for me. But um, I always loved football. You know, ever, ever since I can remember, since I, I was about two. You know, football, I was always having a ball at my feet. And um, I always dreamed of playing football, for, you know, at an elite level. But deep down in my heart, I knew that it wouldn't be possible because of my sight. And uh, when I was about 18, 19, I went to the Royal National College in Hereford. And, uh, you know, that's where I found out that black <coughs> football does exist, you know, at an international level and at very high standards. Um, and there was a, the college team there, I joined there, and lo lucky for me, the coach, uh, the coach there was the coach of the England team and within six months of me joining I was swan off to my first European Championships so um, you know it all kicked off from there and um, you know and since then I've won sorry I've played in six uh, European <coughs> Championships three World Cups and uh, the Paralympics in Beijing um, and I think I'd probably say my greatest sporting moment would probably be having the armbands walking out in Beijing um, leaving my team out, I mean, that was a proper dream come true because from, you know, from five years old or whatever, dreaming of playing football at an elite level, that proves to me, yeah, you know, I've had out here, that, that, that's me, do you know what I mean, that's, that was a, in my sport, that was the top where you can go, so, you know, that was a really, a really proud moment for myself. Um, people always ask me as well, they always say, you know, who was your inspiration, was it your father or whatever, and, and being Asian and all that, they, uh, they all like cricket, so they didn't really, really like football, so, <laughs> <laughs> so it was a bit of a nightmare, it was just me and the family, and I want my nephews and nieces, they all love football, and I've passed it on, but um, I, think, I think I'd have to say, because I'm a really big Liverpool fan, and you know, my heroes at the time were people like Robbie Fowler growing up, Steve McManaman, and simply because, you know, both of them were a bit, you know, Maybe, maybe you could say characters, which which I do like, but they came from Liverpool, they, you know, working class council states like myself, and you know they had the desire, which you know that that's what I looked up to, and you know hopefully I, I like to say that's how you know how I rep, rep, represent myself on the football pitch. Um, but I, I think for anyone playing sports, I think it's you know such a really wonderful thing. I think the highs you can't beat it. Obviously the lows are probably the worst that you can ever have, but. Um, you know, I think everyone should be proud if you know, even if you play at any level, play in any sort of sport, you know, I think it's a wonderful achievement. Um, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you.